Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is what makes a blocker good, or at least in my opinion video. Um, I, I see a lot of people always talk about blockers, a blocker doesn't really matter. Um, I don't think that's true and I see a lot of people ask me why I'm using one blocker over another. So example, I'll be wearing this blocker with the block catching glove and pads of this or this blocker with the old optic set. Um, so instead of this. So I'll talk about that here really quick or hopefully quick and kind of discuss this and why I think there is preferences and things that make good blockers good and not and why companies deserve some praise for it. So number one, my big thing is blocker face and basically rebounds. I'm a huge proponent for big rebounds. Um, Bauer does it really well with the curve, with the curve on the face. Um, 2S is the best, 1S or the 1S and the 2S are the best in the business. Um, the vapors are very close behind. This one is pretty good because I got a thicker Lexion board put in it. Um, the Brian's aren't. The, so the, I didn't think E-Flex was that good either. The E-Flex, I took a really weak shot from uh, with the E-Flex 4s from the point and I went to block her into the corner and it just dropped like a foot for me. And it was really surprising. I even looked, I'm like, what did that hit? Right on the face, I saw it, I had it in video. Right on the face, just didn't go very far. Um, whereas these ones really punch out. The reason I like big rebounds on blocker boards and kind of pads too, but to a different step extent is because if it's a, if, a, if someone shoots for a rebound or if you don't have the ability to really punch it away from danger, the bigger, the hotter the rebound, the harder it is to handle for opponents and you can kind of punch it away further too. Um, so for example, someone shoots it in really tight and you, or you just get an arm on it, you don't have time, like ability to really direct it. You punch it out hard, it's going to be hotter for them, like hotter off the face. So it's harder for them to grab and shoot the puck in or like control the puck. So that's why I like harder face things and rebounds. Bauer's really good at that. Now there is kind of a caveat with it. I actually got scored on because of that in this with this blocker. I punched it out, hit a teammate, off my teammate to their stick, guy puts it in. So if it was a softer face board, it probably wouldn't have come off my teammate as hard. Wouldn't have had the other opponent wouldn't have got it right on a stick and scored. Um, so that is kind of what it is. Now, the other part that I'm a huge proponent of is sideboard stiffness. And the reason being, I make a lot of saves with my sideboards, um, either closing in the gaps like this, or if you're like trying to block a pass from behind the net. And like this is, I find that important because a puck can't push through this. So this one is pretty good. The 2S is better because this is all a uh, curve instead of, I think this is a foam. So that's even stiffer on the new one. 2x is okay it's not quite as stiff as the supreme um but again it's pretty decent the 1x is really good and it's not as stiff as the supreme overall but because it has all this padding your hand kind of holds it in place jrz is just okay i kind of wish i got that beefed up but i forgot um genetic is not very good it's better than the optic which was just terrible but uh, the optic is terrible because you can do this um so the new optic is totally changed. And again, that would just kind of fold in. I'm not a fan of that at all. So that's the other big part that I think is kind of a good piece to kind of see what makes a good blocker. Um, next thing is the kind of index finger protection. And this is the best one. So I'll talk about this one directly. So basically I see there's like a, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a golden block or something which is a piece of foam you stick on your stick so pucks don't ride up. You don't need that when you have a blocker board like this. Um, like I, this, I've taken a ton of pucks with this, you can see it. This and this with a stick, that basically cuts off pucks from hitting your fingers. Great design, CCM has a really good one on their E-Flex and Premier that you can order just like this. Huge fan of it, really blocks off pucks from coming in and then you don't need that goalie block thing. Um, this right here, could be better this could have poron in it on the sides the uh ccm gloves have d3o there makes it a bit stiffer but it's more protective so that's a good thing there um the genetic has a piece of foams right here so it does help kind of with that but it doesn't cover like this is doesn't have like three layers one two three as this one only has two but it does have that foam there so that's always nice so that's the other piece that i always am looking out for Bauer kind of took, in my opinion, a step back in this design um, with the 2X is way more open than the Vapor and the Supreme is. So it's not that great in that regard. Uh, so next I'm gonna talk about finger protection. 
And actually, I'm going to talk about Brian's because Brian did this. I can't remember if they did this first, but they did it a long time ago and they did credit for it. Um, so fingertip protection, I'm talking about these pieces right here. Brian's is really interesting because on the Genetic 2, this was, I think, three piece segmented. So it followed your fingers down really well. And then it was adjustable. So you could loosen it so it comes up higher or you could tighten it so it goes closer to your fingers. Huge fan of that design. Um, I think this could be bigger. So that's a bit disappointing, but... It's still a decent design, um, so they deserve props there. I still think Bauer basically has it the best. This could be a bit hard, uh, stiffer. I think it is on the 2S. It's definitely stiffer on the Vapors that I have, um, but this covers more than the Vapors, so I'm a huge fan of that. Sticking it right there, really pulls down. Everything's covered there. You can see I have puck marks and stick marks there, so I'm a huge fan of that little extra padding, just so like it covers off your fingers from Pucks, loose pucks or people digging. Huge fan of that. That's another piece I'm a, I really look out for. I hate Warrior's design. Um, JRZ on their Fusion has a Warrior design where this is just curved and doesn't have the fingertips. I like the fingertip protection way better than the Warrior one because I find it really keeps your fingertips exposed. Um, so huge fan of, I got this modified on my Fusion. The Prime has this design. So I got the Prime fingers kind of put on the Fusion. So I, I'm that's another thing. And finally, um, is, or I guess there's another one is kind of the hand position. So this is where I was kind of complaining about the vapor glove and people were talking about how it's just preference. It's preference, but the reason why I was complaining about it on the vapor, the two X is because people lost an op, like an option with Bauer with this glove, the two X and the Supreme are basically the same where your hand sits. It's, you can kind of see where the fingers right next to each other. It's the exact same position on your hand. So it's both the boards lower on your hand than your fingers are. Whereas this one, your fingers go past and there's more board above your hand than what these are. Um, this is personal preference, hundred percent personal preference. You pick what you, you like. These are more helpful to, to like grab down low pucks. Um, so if it's like low above the pad, this, these ones are obviously easier to get to. This one I find is really, really well balanced and I still really like using this blocker. A ton of guys in pros and juniors use this blocker, but without this binding, you can take a look for it. Look at the sideboard. These two sideboards are pretty different, so it's pretty noticeable. Um, a lot of guys are still using the 1X because it's favored. Now, without the 1X, the max specs option would be a Vaughn one. I think the V8 has a pretty similar hand position, but I think blo uh, Bauer blockers are kind of the best in the business with terms of the materials and the big blocker boards and how comfortable the palms are and everything. Um, so, it's kind of disappointing that Bauer removed this option for retail goalies because um, I think this one is way too similar to this and it should have kind of been just an evolution of this. So, but that's again, personal preference. I'm okay with both ways. So you got to figure out what you like. Um, so next is balance on your hand. And what I mean by that is when you put the board on, does it kind of have a tendency to go anyway? Um, and one way I find the best way is when you close your hand, what happens with the board? Like this one stays pretty straight. This one I find when I'm playing feels like it tilts. So you can kind of see when I play, I feel like it tilts outwards. Um, I notice that quite a bit when playing. I feel like my board's kind of always tilted a little bit. Not my favorite feeling. Um, and then this one that does it too. I really feel like this one is never square on. It was kind of always off to the side. Again, that's personal preference, how you like. Um, I like it more balanced. All these are pretty balanced, but these two, again, personal preference. So. Hopefully this video was helpful. Um, I just really don't like people saying a blocker is a blocker and I understand people's preferences, but uh, at the same time, this is what I think makes a good blocker and what you can look out for and what companies who are doing things deserve credit for. Um, for example, Bauer, hard, hard, like really hard, really stiff. Good protection here. They don't deserve credit for that here. Good fingertip protection. Uh, good palms. Don't deserve credit for or deserve bad credit for removing this option and making them similar. Brian's deserve credit for the accordion style fingertips, which is a great design. Uh, CCM deserves credit for putting D3O on the fingertips. Vaughn deserves credit for their awesome index finger design. It's just that the, the palm's really cool. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully it helps you make a decision when you're purchasing a glove um, or just at least give you some more knowledge about what I think makes a good blocker and hopefully you can come up with your own opinions too. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Um, remember to scratch on YouTube, hit the bell icon so you get notified when I make new videos. 
Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links are in the description. Help. Um, I do like small content stuff on there where I kind of talked about these two gloves and why they're, I think this one was the better one than this. Um, so like stuff like that's on there. And remember, if you ever do buy a piece of equipment because of all my videos, please reach out to manufacturers, let them know on social media or email them. It helps me get on the radar so I can get gear and do demos of and test them and make content of. Thank you very much for watching and take it easy.